Back here cage side, uh, Valor Fights presents Apex 12. We are in Knoxville, and our next bout is Chris Buttry making his MMA debut out of Rogersville, Tennessee, taking on Bud Cook with his MMA debut tonight uh, out of Wilmington, North Carolina. Welterweight bout presented by Affordable Graphics. Back porch on the Greek Amphitheater, Knoxville, Tennessee, Apex 12. Let's get things started. Here's Jennifer. Our next bat of the evening is in the welterweight division brought to you by Affordable Graphics. First, please welcome to the cage, Chris Buttry. Chris Buttry, first out in this amateur MMA bout, welterweight at 173, three minute rounds. Chris Buttry, another one of those independent fighters out of Rogersville, Tennessee. Chris Buttry, a promising athletic prospect He's trained with Bushido MMA, and uh, we've seen him a number of times on Valor Fights as a kickboxer and has had success, but now making the move from kickboxing into amateur MMA, a tall young man as well. Yeah, he, uh, you know, let's see what his wrestling, his grappling's all about, you know, and see if he can defend the takedowns. And That's always the hardest transition in MMA. You know, you can have a, a good stand-up, but when it comes to switching from kickboxing to MMA, that's always, always what makes a difference is how solid your wrestling is, how much you've trained it, jiu-jitsu. I mean, you have to have some type of training in it. Well, you have to, I mean, that's what, that's what MMA is, mixed martial arts. It's everything. You know, and, and I've called a number of Chris's kickboxing bouts, and he is very poised, calm, and smooth as a kickboxer. Whether that automatically translates once you, you get punched or whether you're in a tough submission on your back on the mat, we'll see. He hasn't been in those situations before, but certainly in the stand-up game in terms of kickboxing, he, he is very composed in there in the, uh, in the cage. I'm excited to watch him fight. He's had a couple of fights canceled as well. He was supposed to uh, to fight at Apex Fights 10 against Kadrian Brewster. Also was scheduled to fight at Apex Fights 8 with Eric Lance, and that fight was canceled as well. So he's kind of been uh, hoping to get his debuts in MMA underway for a while. Chris Buttry is in the cage. Back to the cage of Jennifer. And his opponent, please welcome to the cage, Bud Cook. Here's Bud Cook making his debut as well, coming over from Wilmington, North Carolina, and has done some grappling competition in some smaller Virginia events. Chandler, have you uh, run into, or do you know Bud Cook? You know, they come and go. Yeah. <laughs> over Iron. there, I don't know if y'all know, but before they, uh, a couple years ago, they didn't even have to be sanctioned. Okay, yeah. I'll finish, have you finish your, uh, that thought in one second. I want to talk about that because that's crazy. All right, you see the debut of both of these guys, Buttry much younger than Cook, 13 years younger, and then Buttry much taller as well. Six inches the difference between the two, and then the weight difference as well as this is a Walter Way bat at 170 and Buttry at 173 and a half. Cook well under at 160.3. What do you think about yeah, that? Yeah. 13 13 point2 pound weight advantage right there you know that's age advantage it can it can and the age advantage but, you but know. Butch, and the high, <laughs> and the high. yeah yeah so, so you got cook well under and buttery over in his debut yeah you know if we had to pick statistics and underdogs you know I'd definitely pick uh you know butt cook on this one but uh oh yeah like F to be the underdog you know but uh you know let's see let's see what happens but but how do you view not making weight high or low for your debut. Uh, you know, I guess it just depends on, on you know, what, ha on what happens, you know, yeah. what, what your coach is called out or in, in their case, you know, they're independent. So who knows what they decided? You know, they might they might not actually know the, you know, the right the right thing to do. Right. You know, so and, and Chris Buttry, to to his credit, just to clarify, he's listed we have him listed as an independent fighter, but he also has done had done some work for Titan Combat as well. So maybe settling into a gym there. All right, back to the cage. Here's Jennifer. This battle scheduled for three three-minute rounds. First, fighting out of the Hogs Red Corner, he weighed in at 173 pounds. 
fights out of Rogersville, Tennessee, and tonight he is making his MMA debut, Chris Buttry. And his opponent across the cage to my right, he weighed in at 160 pounds, fights out of Wilmington, North Carolina, and tonight he is making his MMA debut, Bud Cook. Your referee when the action begins is Nate Jolly. Nate Jolly, our referee in this bout, presented by Affordable Graphics, a welterweight bout at 173, three minute rounds. Chris Buttry in the black shorts, red tape, and Bud Cook, black shorts and blue tape. And we're underway, no touch of gloves. You know, looking now, uh, you know, we said there was a 13 pound weight difference, but really the, the weight is at welterweight. It's at 170, so. So Chris, Chris Buttery actually missed weight, yeah, right, he by was, three he, pounds, and uh, and Buck Cook is underweight, ten way pounds, underweight. by ten pounds. So talking about overdoing the weight. <laughs> Buck Cook here looking, he's uh needs to keep his hands up. I see him whenever he's, they start exchanging, he lets his hands flow around. So you need to be sure to keep those glued to your face and carb load. <laughs> Age difference as well. Buttery 13 years younger. And six inches taller as well, and 13 pounds. Great oh. job, great takedown with the underhooks. He just got to mount here. Let's see if he can keep it. He must have trained it. There it is, great job. Rain it down. This is what that, I like about MMA. Yeah, that's that's, that's it. There you go. That's it. This. Oh, yeah, it's all. there it is. Wow, that was beautiful. Chris, beautiful Butcher. MMA debut. Excited, for Chris excited. That's what. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what you gotta love about this sport, man. Yeah, and, and he, didn't, he didn't just do what he does in kickboxing. He was able to finish it off on the mat. He was. That was awesome. And, you know, he got tagged. He got those underhooks, tripped them, got a takedown, and then finished them off. There's no better way to end a debut. <laughs> <And now laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna have to talk to him about those dance moves, man. <laughs> hey, you got to give him credit, though. And Nick, take us through this finish here. Uh, just, I mean, it says it all right there. He's just raining down punches on him. That's it. Nate Jolly calls it. There it is. You know they always say when you're on when you're on top and you're raining down punches, you can block so many before that guard opens. <laughs> yeah. Before that guard opens and one catches you. I mean, all those shots count. Good job to Chris, man. Happy as can be in there right now. Yeah. Andy. With awful dance moves. <laughs> With awful. <laughs> he needs to hit the club more. Well Good. done though. In the cage when it counted before it was stopped. Chris Butcher, the 21-year-old who is terrific in kickboxing has made the move and is now 1-0 as an MMA fighter. Here is Jennifer. Your referee stops this fight at one minute and four seconds into the first round. For your winner by TKO, out of the Hogs Red Corner, Chris Butchery. 